Queendom family. Welcome to Black Queens Uncut. Grab your wine, your vape, or whatever you need to relax so we can get into this queen chat. Queens, let them know who you are. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kiki Boom Boom. Hola, TK Trinidad here. And I'm Monique Loveless. And today we are talking about BDE, Big Dick Energy. Oh, I've been watching Sex in the City, so of course I'm ready to talk about this. Um, okay, Queen, what is Big Dick Energy? I think Big Dick Energy is just a vibe. It's an energy. I, I don't think it has anything to do with the size of your penis or what your gender is. I think you could be a male and a female and just have this swag about you where you have this amazing confidence. You walk into a room, you turn heads without really having to do or say much. I personally think it's just an energy. Like, and you know, you Mm -hmm. see those guys, you see those girls where you're like, damn, like there's just something about them. And they might not, you don't even have to be the most good looking person, but if you have BDE, it kind of vibrates off of you. So that's what I think BDE is. It's like this dope energy where you're like, damn, they have this a swag, so a swag award in 2021. Yeah. <laughs> I got with the kids. I don't know what the kids are saying. They have this swag about <laughs> They have a Somebody swag about them when you're like. <laughs> Somebody told me to say whatever I felt because I was like, listen, I don't feel like we use on fleek enough. So I know. Let's bring I, back. I'm bringing swag back, but BD energy is just people who have a swag about them when you just walk into a room and it, it just illuminates and you know that person is really confident and they don't have to fucking really say much. So I, it's just like, it's a sex appeal to me. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Go ahead, TK. Yeah, I, I agree. Same, same thing. It's just like, that's just that energy. And I've heard um, Beyonce like comes to mind. Everybody I know who's met Beyonce is like, she doesn't have to say much. She just kind of like floats. Lisa Bonet too, I saw her at like a beach one day um, with her kids and like we locked eyes and like I acknowledged she knew I knew who she uh, was and that was just it. And then she just floated by. It's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> like like her, um, some what's her, her, her husband, he's like that. Thank like it's more. just that, that energy where it's just kind of like, you know, I, I, I'm here, I'm alive, you know, I'm, I'm working on me type thing. It's just, it's just that, that, I don't know. It's just a certain type of energy. It doesn't have to be male or female. It's just one of those things where like you, you just on another level, you, you levitating. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree with what both of y'all said. I feel like it's just a confidence about yourself period. So it is a swag. I still call it swag <laughs> because it is what it is. Like, I don't really care. <laughs> I never even knew that tight came back in, but that's a different, I was like, tight. what? That was what I was like in middle school. What? <laughs> But um, I do feel like it's just an, it, it really is just an energy. And I think it has to do with a confident energy. Like you just enter in a room and you just know who you are. Like, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes. It doesn't matter if anything, like you just own who you are. You just love who you are. And um, that comes off. You don't like, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to do much. You just are like you are really present in who you are. Um, and so I think that, and you you brought this up too, because I was, the next question is, who are some celebs that you feel like have big dick energy? I think definitely Beyonce. Um, I feel like she has big dick energy. Um, I've met Oprah, so I will say Oprah definitely has big dick energy. Like it's a whole it's big bag energy. Yeah, shaman. I queen energy. Life, like I'm on like it is. It's just in um it, 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 I would say that um when it comes to guys, what well, oh who he's what? Ah! All this Hodge. Mm. Y'all don't know who he is. Lick him up, big dick energy. I'm him and that. his brother, okay. Um, both have it. So I'll say that I used to think like, I used to feel like I used to feel this way, but as I've grown up and I've like met them on a few occasions, I was like, "Mm, I don't know. I used to feel like T.I. had it. And I was just like, "Mm, no. And when he first, he, I see what you're saying. When he first came out, he did have a specific like swag to like when his first album came out, I was in college it was a, he did have BDE. Like then he started talking and you got to know who T.I. was and you're like, oh God. Damn. But he did, he he had a cockiness about him. He had a confidence 
a combination. Is it like a mystery? Is it kind of like an intertwine of a mystery too? It's like, this, like if you yeah, if you really think about who you think about with big dick energy, it's like it's kind of like they're mysterious. It's mysterious. Well. Like for me, like Rihanna has BDE. Yeah, Zoe Kravitz, her mama Lisa Bonet, mm-hmm. um, that Andre, whole family. Yes, like Andre three thousand has BDE. It's just yes. like Badu, Erica, Erica Badu, Erica Badu has it. Print. It's just, it's Ooh, just yes. like it's a sex appeal where you're just like they. It's like they're giving off the energy and they're not being thirsty about it. And it's just, they walk in a room, they command it, heads turn. And you're like, they are just so sexy. And it's nothing to do with physical. It's just the energy. I'm trying to think of like more guys who have like BD. Cause it's easy for me to name women. Women, women are, yeah. I can give you the women. Oh, for, That's the funny part. Yes. Women, I think. Oh, dude we, from uh, Queen Sugar. Remember we did that red carpet with him? Was it Kofi? Oh, Kofi. <laughs> Baby, Kofi <laughs> embodies BDE. Yes, TK, I forgot about Kofi. Want to know why Kofi does? Yes, he's beautiful, but he has, like you said, we did the carpet with him. He has the best energy. It's mysterious, like you said, Monique. It is very interesting. And then when he speaks, it's just. Ooh, he, Lorenz Tate. Lorenz Tate, he lean, they lean into their BDE. Yes. <laughs> Method Man has BDE. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me and, um, and he does have, he's really, and the funny part is, is Method Man isn't very like, um, I'll tell you who else on, on that crew has BDE too, because I got to talk to him too, was Rizzo. I was like, oh. The yeah, person has a confidence for him. You know who else used to have BDE when I was like younger? Like when I would watch anything with like Johnny Depp, I felt like he was very like, mm. It was because it's like mysterious. It's weird. Like you don't know who they are and, and the yeah. role that, that, that would play. Method, the funny part is, is that you you mentioned Method. Method is literally very charismatic and very yes, open. He's, but he's I do feel that BBE. Like I do. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Big, big energy. Same thing with like, yeah. if I'm going to like other people like Jerry Leto has BBE where you're, you're looking at them and you're like, oh, they're different. They're cool. But it's an energy where they're not being thirsty. They don't have to be loud. Janelle Monae. That's who I'm thinking of. Janelle Oh, Monet. yes. Janelle Monet, where they don't have to Lizzo. See, it's easy for me to the think game. of women. No, I think he just has a big dick. <laughs> <laughs> he does not have big dick energy. Throw up that big Josh. Big I, I was going to say, Monique said it. I was going to see, there's a difference between just having a big dick and having big dick energy. He yes. definitely is blessed. Yes. And he highly has, favored he's a in that area. Male and Sagittarius's. I'm a Sagittarius. A lot of them just give off chaotic energy, and he kind of gives that off. Love the game, beautiful gowns. Um, I, I feel like he's kind of grown into so because I met him when I was at um, the station. It feels like when I, when I met him, he was just very like I don't know. I always I always like the the people who I was like spoke on this a couple of times, like they're in a position where they can like demand things from people and be a certain way, but they're just like humble. And like when I met him and just how he interacted with people was just like, he didn't have to, he didn't have to speak to anybody. He just did the interview and just left. So um, yeah. He, um, and that, this was before the picture came out. So it was just mm-hmm. like, oh, okay. No, he's a very nice person. I just wish kind of like what I said about T.I. Like, where you see these people, they come on and they end up doing things and you're like, damn it, just... You, yeah. Not those things are I have quiet. never... Yeah, but, but the I've game never, is mad cool. He's mad nice. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like, like go in and out dude. of it. I feel like he's a... Okay, let's be honest. I feel like he's nice when he needs to be because he's a nigga. But I definitely feel like he gives me Method Man energy with all the chaoticness without the Method Man, like, BDE. Because, like... The way you interact, especially if you're from the hood, the way you interact in public is your code switching, which is our next episode, into into going into who you really are. So I I don't think, I feel like he has that, um, this is who I have to be when I'm doing certain things. And this is who I really am when I'm on social, when I'm at the house, when I'm just being me. And I don't feel like he gives big dick energy. Uh, like, he got a big dick. Oh. Now, now, yes. would I say, because yes. I don't feel like he has big dick energy, would I not have sex with him? Oh, I would still hop on I that. I definitely dick would. Me. I am ashamed. I am not ashamed. I would definitely. Hey, JC. Um, you know, ah. <laughs> BDE, yeah, yeah. Let's 
and say. Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors, oh, you're you know, like Jonathan Majors has BGE because you know he came on and like women were like, oh, he's fine, and some people were like he's not attractive. It's a lot of people didn't find him attractive because of his features, and I think he's one of the sexiest men on this planet. But his BDE, Jonathan Majors, the energy that he gives off, it's just so sexy. And a new trailer just dropped with him, Idris, Regina King. It's a new, like, black cowboy film. And mm -hmm. Jonathan in the trailer doesn't really say anything. Lakeith Stanfield's in this movie. It's all about his BDE in, in the trailer. Please watch the trailer. It's on Netflix, Strong Black Lead, if you have not seen it. And just watch Jonathan Majors. He does not really speak in the trailer, but it's so sexy. He definitely is the definition of BDE. Jonathan. And you, the coming up ones, I feel, David Kaluuya. Uh, oh, I God. feel like Lakeith God. has B BDE, too. Lakeith does, too. It's kind Sometimes. of like that awkward, but yeah. and I'm kind of, like, intrigued he does. to see what you meant, you know? Um. I definitely believe that there are some upcoming people that I feel like have BDE, but it is easier. It's funny because it is easier to name women it is than easier. it is men. Yeah, because I think too, be because what are you gonna say, Kiki? No, no, go ahead, boo. I think sometimes too, it's like you know, you could you get that energy, like some people are born with it, and then I think so you get that energy like when you're working on yourself, like when you're kind of centered or you're working on being centered, then that energy kind of radiates. And then you know, when stuff is chaotic and you're not really you're trying to like, you know, kind of figure things out that's when you're the chaotic and then you're like oh you your life is kind of messy I can't really you know so I feel like you people could some people are consistent like I think Beyonce whatever formula she has and we could you know we can do a whole Beyonce yeah, episode man Jay-Z got big yeah. BDE Jay definitely got BDE like and he's yes. had his, his Nas first. your boy Nas love Nas Nas has it Jay but you know what I noticed a lot of like like I have a thing for like 40 and plus year old rappers. So like I find like <laughs> like Ho, Nas, Ghostface, Raekwon, like men who are 40 plus, I find very attractive. And I think that's because they do have a swag about them. They have this form of BDE where I feel like in the 90s, it was just very different. And now they're at 40 plus going on 50 and they still have this swag. They hit that about sweet them. spot. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like really sexy to watch Hove. It's sexy to watch Nas. Like even Ghostface and Ray Qual, I'm like, God damn. It's mm -hmm. just a it's a sex appeal. And I don't know if it's like a 90s thing that like because even when we grew up watching men in the 90s, it was the men on the movies and rappers and singers, they were just a different type of man. And oh, hold on. I got one more too. R.I.P. Nip. Oh Nip, yeah, Nip, Nip definitely. Nip, mm -hmm. yeah. Because these are men and women who don't have to say much. Like Nip, like they would just have to walk in a room and their energy, they have great energy. And that's why I think it's easier to name women because women, we just give off great energy. Right. Mm -hmm. Speaking of women, do you feel like um, y'all have BDE? Do you exude BDE energy? I've been told by people that I have BDE. I don't big know. titty energy, big titty energy. <laughs> CK says that I have big titty energy, so I'll take that because um, my boots are big. But um, <laughs> I've been told that I exude BDE, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I do. I don't because it's nothing that I'm trying to do. Like it's nothing that, and I think people with BDE, you just give off this energy. Like I just give off this chill energy where I'm like, hey, let's ha let's have fun. Like, but friends have told me they're like, when you walk into a room. You command people, like heads turn. You're very energetic. Some men have told me that I'm intimidating, but not like in a bad way. And some guys like, oh, you have BDE. Like, I'm like, I'll take it, shit. Okay, thanks. <laughs> but as TK yeah. says, big titty energy now, so. I like, yeah. Big, yeah, big titty energy. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like, I feel like I don't, cause I'm like working on myself. Like, so there's so just so many things that, you know, I'm trying to evolve to. But, you know, the feedback I get just from, strangers and like people that have like watched me in different places it, it's just kind of like it's weird because like you they they give you all this love and like they give you your roses and you're like but I ain't I mean I'm not I'm not saying I'm shit but it's like I'm I so it's just it's really nice to um I don't know be doing the work and people kind of looking at you from afar appreciating it so I don't think yes. I do maybe maybe like maybe I'm growing into my big dig energy like, I feel like I'm going to, I'm going to get there. Like it's close, but I feel like, you know, it's like, you know, when you, when, when, when a man and a woman's about to, to interact and, you know, is growing, like, I feel like I'm in that growing, but I haven't gotten to the full, you know, hurrah. Yeah. Right. 
I feel that. Um, <clears throat> I feel like, yes, I have big dick energy. <laughs> like, I, um, I mean, n- not to, you know, you don't want to sound cocky, but you just go off of what you're told and it doesn't matter. Like, and that's why I say, I think it's like a confidence when you walk in a room and you just own who you are, because it doesn't matter. I could walk in any room and I'm not, it doesn't even matter if I'm working. I'm not looking at nobody else. I'm my competition. I'm coming out to do what I do best look good. Cause I've been in styling for years. And so it's kind of like, I don't know. I just got to a point where it was just kind of like, mm, okay, let's kind of, it did kind of, it, it was like you said though, TK, you kind of like, I think you kind of grow into it. I mean, I've always been very confident and had high self-esteem and always been, but more so I was like super intense. Like I can be intense now, but I was like super like, you're just getting on my nerves overly intense. But now I'm just kind of like, oh, I'm me. I don't see anybody else. Me it, and too. it just, I guess it exudes that. And so I would say that I do have big dick energy. Yes. I feel like it intimidates men sometimes, though. It does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it does. Like, I, you know, as men will tell us, as you know, we are three independent women who have he- our heads on our shoulder and we know what we want. And I'm sure all of us in different forms have been told by men that we are intimidating. And it's nothing you do purposely. It's you walk into a room, you're having a good time. I know me, I used to go out and have a good time. I don't even see you. And that's not a, and I'm not being rude. It's literally, I see the bar. I see you and see you coming from my circle. And I see my friend. So my friend used to, um, Drew, hi, Drew. She would tell me, she's like, girl, you do this thing when you walk into a room. And she's like, I think it's dope. We're like, you don't really see no one. You just have a good time. And she's like, I noticed men watching you and you don't even pick no, it up. No, you don't I even would, notice it. I would leave and be like, oh, guys don't really look at me. And Drew's like, girl, like 50 guys are watching you. But she's like, your energy, you just do this thing where you're like, yes, and you're lit. And she's like, I love that about you. So that's just, I just walk into a room. I'm really confident. I love who I am. But I think now my confidence is like, I'm leaning more into my confidence. Yeah. When people give me compliments, I'm stopping myself and being like, no, 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 no. I'm accepting it. Thank you so much. So I'm trying to lean more into it. Like, yeah. And then also too, like, you know, first shout out to Spicy. If y'all don't know who she is. She was on the episodes a couple episodes ago, but she, um, I've been, um, I want to say I've been training with her because she does seem like a coach, but she says sometimes you, you, even though you might have that energy of confidence, you also might be presenting an energy of, you know, look at me, but don't, don't talk to me type energy. So you also have to see like what you're trying to do and then work on whatever that, that is too. So um, that has been like immense stuff. Pardon me? I'm a hunter. So honestly, like I, I'm like you, Kiki, I'll walk in the room. I'm not worried about nobody. I want to find the bar. I want to get a little drink. I want to have a conversation with whoever's with me. And then we kind of scope out the room, see what's going on, see if I like this place. Cause I want to know if the experience is what I like. And then, <clears throat> and then if I, if I see somebody I like, I will be like, hi, you know what I'm saying? Just to let them know that I'm open because I have been called intimidating. So I want to let you know, like, you checking for me. I see you. I'm checking for you. Let me just give you a little wave and a high with a smile with these beautiful teeth. So you just know that you don't need. <laughs> I'm I don't I like the movies, Kiki. Yes. So you know that, listen, I'm open. It's okay to come and talk to me. And it, it, you know, because I am open to you talking to me, but I'm, you know, I feel like a lot of women don't tend to do that. They think we have to have like a five second eye look, you know, maybe, you know, it's about, and it's like, no, have lean into your big dick energy and say hi, with hashtag me too. And the way these dudes out here shooting people, we need to give them a little something more now. Okay. Well, you know, like with I'm me, open. I'm I'm overly you? I'm overly friendly and I'm a natural flirt and it's not on purpose. I'm just naturally like if I'm at the bar and I've done this, there've been guys at the bar and I'm kicking it with a bartender and a guy might say something. I'm like yes, yeah, like I'm just naturally that's just who I am. 
And I'm like, I don't know what else to do. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm nice. I'm smiling. I'm like, yes, let's do some shots. A guy will buy me a shot. And then I think my problem is I'm like, okay, bye. And then, yes. But I'm kind of like, I'm letting you know, hey, I'm here. But I'm not going to fucking keep swarming around you. And I think as women, you know, and this is something that I'm working on because I'm definitely working on it. And I'm listening to like when Spicy was on our episode, listening to you ladies and listening to my friends and trying to, I'm trying to take everything in and take notes because I'm trying to figure out like what I'm doing wrong and just trying to step outside of it because guys are like women too. Guys get intimidated, guys get shy and they approach maybe 50 women a day. And sometimes girls are like, get out of my face. So I'm trying to be like, hey. <laughs> and we have to have a dating episode about that because I'm a, everybody has pointed it out lately. They're like, Mo, you're flirtatious, you're a hunter. And I'm like, maybe I am because we were out and I was like, you know, I saw this guy I really liked. I was like, oh, he's cute. I thought he was Armenian, but he ended up being mixed. But what happened was... <clears throat> you know, I was sitting down and he came out to where I was and I was kind of staring because I want to let you know to catch your eye attention. You know, so I do give off BDE because I was staring. He pointed because he saw me staring like, oh, I see you. And I said, okay, I see you. So I kind of gave one of these like, come over, come on over. Okay. <laughs> and he came over and we talked for like a whole hour. And so, you know, it's like, Sometimes we have to get over the fear of like, or the thing like, oh, if he isn't, and this is now me going into dating advice, but if he isn't basically saying, okay, I'm going to talk to her, but I see her, like, we got to get over the fact like, oh, I like you, so I'm going to choose. And if I like you, then if I'm choosing you, I'm going to let you know. But that doesn't mean that he's not going to be able to take over and be the man that we want, I guess, our man to be. Because if I talk to you and I say, and I'm giving you the opening, like a clear opening, hey, how are you? Hi, like, um, you know, all oh, that drink, I'll do this. Oh, that drink is really looks nice. Would you get and and start having a conversation to let you know I'm open. Sometimes I do it to the wrong people and I didn't really mean it. I really meant your drink was like cute that's and I problem. wanted it. I talked to everybody and they'd be like, Oh, she was funny. I'm like, I wasn't, but okay. <laughs> yeah, that's when I have to be like, bye. Okay, thanks, bye. I think like, also too, like if women, we you know, I can only speak to women and for women, but like, you know, just getting out of this is something I'm working on. I, I'll say for myself, getting out of my head getting over rejection and the fear of rejection and just going like mm-hmm. we're just there we're having a good time you may not ever see these people ever again if there's something you like go for it if they're not into it fuck it go for the next guy and that's how and I, that's something I'm working on because I think what I would do because I was that way when I lived on the east coast I moved to the west coast and I got really weird my confidence went away I got really insecure and I got in this weird shell where I was just like oh rejection they don't like me me and a girl shut the fuck up like so this is something that I'm just working on and just being like a little bit more open and just having a good time and getting out of my own way yeah um TK that that makes a great opening for (laughs) and being open speaking of opening uh uh, speaking of opening opening. uh LaWand is our amazing sponsor LaWand is a woman found premium brand of personal vibrating massagers that bring unparalleled quality to a notorious sketchy industry LaWand originated as one hell of a classic wand uh and it's award-winning design to match and has now become a full line of best in-class heart pounding hair raising toys designed with pleasure in mind for all bodies LaWand embraces and champions int- intimacy with uh, all with powerful versatile pleasure toys that insist on bringing you to the next level. Let me tell you, y'all. I my trip to Hawaii is coming up. It's already in my because I like to like super prepare. Uh, so I already have my swimsuits already together and it's already in my suitcase. And um, like I said, my gentleman callers who you know some of them are are being retired at the moment. Uh, they 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 did like the Lawan, so I definitely recommend to gift it to men and women to enhance your pleasure needs. Hey, I know that's right. I know that's right. Now, you know, it's, you know, even your Bob can have BBE, okay? So <laughs> mine's definitely does. Just right. Shout out to Bob. <laughs> I, mommy loves you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Are you? Are you? <laughs> are you? you're not (laughs) mommy loves you okay so have y'all 
Oh, let me ask this first. Does BDE, is it learned or is it like a natural thing? I think it can be, I think, I think some people naturally have it. Yes. I think some people born in it, but I think sometimes people don't know it and they haven't tapped into it. So that's why I think it can be learned. Like I've made, I think you may have it and someone may pick it up and be like, you know, you have like this confidence about you, but you're not really leaning into it. And I think sometimes people have to learn that they have this confidence within them and then they can be like, oh, wow, I do have it. And like we said earlier, leaning into it. So I think some people naturally just come out the gate and they're just like, this is who I've been my whole life. And I think some people hit um, a thing where like maybe in their teenage years, in their 20s, they didn't really lean into it. In their 30s and 40s, they lean more into it. And I think it also can be learned too. Like I think if there's something that you want someone to teach you, like maybe a life coach or maybe you speak to someone, you're like, how can I step up or how can I have the swag about me? I think it can be taught too. Yeah, I believe that, um, honestly, I believe that it's learned. I feel like you fall into it. It may be in a certain time in your life because I'll say, okay, I grew into my my BD probably more. I've all, like I said, I've always been a confident person, but I grew more into my big dick energy when I hit my 30s. And so, um, but I will say like my ex-fiance, he had BD when he was like 18. And even though that may sound crazy, but it's real. Like he was just an old soul that was just kind of like, very chill and lax about things. I mean, but other people tell me different. They're like, Mo, that he was like that with you. Mm. So, you know, you, I think it is a learned thing because you don't come out the, I feel you don't come out of the womb being a kid and saying and being that. I mean, you could might be more of a laid back chill kid, but you're still learning so much. So I feel for you to like, um, I feel like it's a learned thing uh yeah. instead of like uh, a natural thing yeah I feel the opposite I feel like some people some kids like they it's like there have been people I've been speaking to where they kind of go through crazy stuff as children and they have this confidence about them that you know no matter what that person tells them they're gonna do this like for example there's this Olympic swimmer he lost the uh, movement in his body from his neck down at the age of 10 and he said, and everybody told him he wasn't gonna be able to walk. And then he's like, no, I'm gonna be able to walk, period. And like for him to channel into that at like 10, like that's just like, not everybody does that. So I feel like some people just have this, have that in them. And then it takes, you know, certain circumstances or, you know, therapists or life coach or just as you get older for you to really kind of kind of center into that and then some people never have it because they never gain that confidence mm -hmm. um but yeah I feel like some people are just because when I ask people like well how were you able to like tap into that they, they can't even explain it themselves so um I feel like some right. people are just kind of born with it but it also I think it, you wouldn't really know until certain circumstances happen in your life yeah that's right. what I'm saying like I yeah. feel like like that's what I mean like where I feel like it has to be learned because I grew up around confident women so it was it would have been weird if I wouldn't have came out as confident as I did if you if you met the women that I grew up around you know what I'm saying but tapping into that tapping into the more confident of who I am side was like in my 30s but if I was nurtured at a certain age it could have been when I was 10 or 12 or so I do feel like it's learned because you have that nurturing around you in order to um in order to um what is it grow that type of you know BDE because BDE is just like a confidence in who you are and not everybody has that but when you learn certain things or certain things arise then it's nurtured in order for you to learn, okay, I can just be confident in who I am. Because you have trans, you have, you know, um, the LGBTQIA community who have, you know, you have people like Dominique Jackson, who is BDE to me, which is a lecture off the of pose. And so, you know, with something like that, it, it, you can learn at a young age if you were nurtured into it early like you know like Zia Wade you have BDE there because you feel like it was nurtured early 
but I feel like it is kind of has to be nurtured and, and learned in order for you to be like, you got to love who you are and just be okay with that. In any room that you walk into, you just exude a confidence. I agree with both of y'all. I also do think like, it can be a thing where I personally think like most people are born with it, but it could be a thing where you were born with it and you lose it. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you don't even know at 10, 11, 12, you don't really know what it is that you're confident. You can speak up. You can be in these groups when you're a young kid. You're not afraid to join like the Girl Scouts. The, like you're not afraid to just do whatever you want to do. And then you get older, society, you get to school, you meet different people and you kind of lose that sometimes. So I think it could be both. I think that's why I said like, I think it can be taught, but I do think like, there are some kids you're born. Some people are just born with the swag. And sometimes you don't even know what it is until somebody calls it out. So someone's like, yo, you, and sometimes it's not called out when you're a kid, you know, like you really don't know till you like you are in your thirties and you're like, you think back, like I was a confident kid. And then it kind of got fucked. When I was like 16, 17. And I had to grow up. and had to relearn how to love myself. So I think it's, and like you lady said, like a lot of people just don't have it. Some yeah. A lot of people it. don't have it. They don't. No, a lot of Sorry people to don't them. have it. Sorry to that man. No, okay. I see. Be, and, 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 and now being certified and learning what I have in my classes, it's a, it, it, it's a mindset. Like, because yeah. you have to grow into certain things, into who you are and just accepting fully who you are. Yes. So it has to be a mindset. Like Lil Nas X, BDE. Love but him. it was but it was <laughs> learned you know what I'm saying he even said it like I never felt this way but I've learned to love who I am and accept myself and it's a true acceptance because somebody can say yeah I accept me but if they get offended about things that you're yeah. like no that was projection <laughs> and you're offended like you know what I'm saying it's kind of like one of those things that I I do feel so I I do kind of stick with that because even as a kid you have to be nurtured in that way in order to like know like oh shit like I can be confident I can tap into this I can you know I know what this is now now I can tap into it or you're around a person who's just like oh shit I want to be like them and you learn you know you're like oh they you know they're like my role model so yeah but okay so when it does come to be a uh, big dick energy we know that not everybody has it. So have you, I think this is a great question. Have you gone, what I like to say, girl crazy or has BDE personally changed your life? And if so, how? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, uh, I, I mean, it's always great to- Give us the um, story, TK. Well, it's always great to meet a, a gentleman caller who has BDE and you see him across the room and you oh, guys yeah. connect and you guys vibe and you have conversation and he's not thirsty and, you you know, situations happen and then you now find yourself in, in, in a loving situation. And then it's like, oh, not only do you have the energy, you also have the the item to accompany the energy. And now we're both happy. Um that's happened on, on, on several occasions and I'm very that. happy that, you know, the energy matches the equipment. So yeah, it, it, it happens. And I, it's, it's, it's great to just meet people. You can meet guys, you can have a conversation for with, he's intelligent. He knows, he knows what he's about. He's also working on himself. He's also, cause we're never going to be perfect. So he's also working on himself and you guys can enjoy, enjoy each other's company not only in a conversation state but also in a horizontal state so yes but have you ever <laughs> gone crazy like you know when girls talk about the moments like okay y'all know what i'm talking about like yo digmatize. He dick energy. well that's not I... that's just dickmatize like okay whack and just have a good dick <laughs> that's nothing yeah. to do with that's BG. true that's you true. You could be a horrible man with a great dick attached to that, that part. Of business. Yeah, that was me and last year. Sometimes we, you know, as women and men, we do these things where we, because they have good dick, we and we know we should be talking to them because they're horrible human beings. We still do. That's just good dick. That's yeah. true. But not everybody got BDE. Not everybody has BDE. And I agree with that. I definitely feel like, like I said before, my ex fiance, when we was young, like even to this day, I'm in my thirties. I would never have changed that. I would have still married him. He's probably the only person I would have still married. And um, I don't care what anybody really has to say, but 
at the end of the day, like, even though he went to prison, the funny part is, is that everybody left D. Like, he was a lovable person. I mean, to certain people. Monique is crazy. <laughs> but not only did he have big dick energy, he had a big dick. <laughs> Our sponsor would like to let no, I'm kidding. <laughs> sure, she might. I love this. Yeah, I'm pretty audition. sure. I know. Okay, so I was like, listen, I need to stop paying people. But I know he's not going to care about it. Like, you know, I listen. feel like that's one of the things that he, he would probably just laugh at and be like, okay, you know, it's true. Like TK said, but, the energy matches the equipment. It's- yeah, the energy definitely matched the equipment on, on tent. Yeah. I've never had to go like crazy or anything out of the ordinary on him because he was a very loving person. And like I said, we were committed to each other. But um, I don't think I've ever like had a moment where I will say that it was life changing for me because I, like I said, I mentioned this before um, in one of our other episodes, but it was one of those things where it was life changing for me because Um, because of his energy, it made me be like, oh my gosh, like, this is what true love feels like. Like, it's not all Cinderella story, but it shows support. It shows like in moments when I'm feeling out of control in my mind because I'm mad, how you calm it down and talk about it and, you know, have those conversations and you're able to, like, it showed true love very early for me when I really needed it but now throughout my life so that I will so I will say my BDE has that that specific BDE situation has been life-changing in a really positive way I feel that I think for me like I just love men with confidence I think it's the sexiest thing like there's a Mm -hmm. there's things that I find sexy in a man and it's like the way they smell. It's the confidence. I love, <laughs> like if you can smell a guy and he walks by and you can still smell him. I'm like, Whoa, mm-hmm. here's my panties. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding. kidding. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys know what I'm saying. Like there's no, things yeah, that I find I sexy in a man. But if a guy hugs me and smells amazing and it rubs off on me, I'm like, my gosh, the crazy. entire night. Crazy. But no, I think it's hot when a guy is really confident. And he's not thirsty. He's just chill. And you can be in a room with a guy and you pick up on his confidence. And not only that, then you get to meet them. Then they're a nice individual. They have the package. They have everything that goes with it. And then their equipment actually matches the energy. And BDE, I want, like, because I don't want guys to feel insecure about this. There's nothing to do with sizing. It has yeah, nothing no. to do with that. So I don't want men to listen to this and be like, oh, I have to have a big dick to, like, approach these girls. No. It's nothing to do with that. It's all about your energy and how you present yourself and what type of guy you are and how you're going to whatever partner you're trying to talk to. Because I've been with a, with guys who don't have the biggest equipment, but that energy and their confidence, it became, like, some of the best sex of my life because I was like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Where I didn't go crazy, but you know, it's oftentimes the ones with the big ones they they feel like they don't have to work as much. Yeah, to you, it's no longer an experience. Like <laughs> y'all, y'all don't understand that if you create an experience in in yes. the act, then yes. now you can take that experience mentally for years. Oh um, so God. it's not about like just the the hump and the pump and now I'm here, she came, I came, whatever. No. Like it's about the roller coaster ride. That's why I've been like, I think I've said in a couple of the professor, I it's a situation ship for years, hey, and professor. I would recommend him to all my all my friends. I know that's because right. it's an experience. I know a few and people so I would definitely have that. recommend to you ladies. I'm like, damn. Yeah. So it's <laughs> like, just like once you have that, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. It's the energy matches, the equipment doesn't have to be you know, massive, but you remember that no. roller coaster ride. No, you do. And people who, like you said, like I have still in my head that I have such, listen, you know, I'm on the East Coast having my best life. I was at an event. What does your best life mean? Kiki? Um, what does it mean? Baby girl just living her best life. I was <laughs> out at an event with friends and there was one guy that I seen and I was like, oh, he's really cute. I was focused on one guy. I was focused on the wrong fucking guy because of the way he looked. But meanwhile, there was someone over here who was quiet and his energy was just like, it was just like coming out. And I was just like, wait a minute to this guy over here. Like, and then he and I connected and we were speaking. We spoke for 
hour, like hours. And I was like, yo, this guy is just so fucking hot. I totally forgot about the guy that I was like crushing on. You know what I'm saying? But his BDE just picked up and he was chill. He wasn't bothering nobody. And they were like kind of like the same friend group, but he was super chill. And the guy that I first found attractive was just doing too much. And I'm like, see, that's the problem. I'm looking at the wrong so did person. His B, did his BDE get you in B, did his BDE get you in BED? <laughs> I was trying to stop the story right there. <laughs> You already started the story, so now we want to know. That could have been my BED. That could have been my happy ending. BDE is energy. That could have just been my happy ending, Moni. I was trying to stop it there, but you know, did his BDE get you in BED? (laughs) It wasn't good. It wasn't good. It was. It was amazing, and it was to the point where, like, he was a gentleman. He was just, he was hot. It was to the point where like, I was like crushing and thinking about this person where I was like, I love him. You had a whole imaginary story, y'all. I be doing that. Like we're married. I mean, this you is don't know it yet. Girl, this is who I was texting you about. This is who I was, when I was texting Monique, I'm like, Monique. I know, but I didn't want to put your business out. Y'all don't, y'all be calling me to Wendy. I'm like, nah, it's let's okay. I, I don't, I'm not story. saying but this is who I was. I was going through something where the, the BD, the energy was so great and his personality was such amazing and I had a great time and he treated me, he was just such a gentleman. Like it was an experience where I haven't experienced that in a long time where not only everything matched, he was just so fucking superb and he was just an amazing man. I was like, damn, this is sad that like as a woman, it was nerve wracking to me because I was like, damn, I haven't experienced this in a long time. So to get it, I was just like, oh my God. I want to marry him in my mind. He don't know this, but he was just, he was awesome. And that's what I'm saying. Like his energy match. And that's why I think it's really sexy to have a guy with great confidence, but I was having a meltdown and I texted Monique and I was like, man, I, this man don't even know I'm about to marry him. He don't even right, know. That's how I be having that. There's somebody that I feel that way about and Ooh. I'm not going to mention who it is, but he is still BDE and we have a whole relationship in my mind. Listen, it happens to the best of us. And that's just off the fucking energy, let alone, like, let's take the sex out. That was just off the energy that was yeah. given. Mm-hmm. It was a conversation that we had. We kicked it. We talked, laughed. I'm a goofy person. And people who listen to this podcast and watch me on YouTube, I'm completely stupid. I'm goofy. And if a guy can make me laugh, I'm the queen of sarcasm. I think that is the hottest thing on this planet. Mm-hmm. And I think that's why I fell so qu- quickly because I was cracking up and not a lot, a lot of guys can make me laugh. So that's why in my mind, I had a whole wedding planned. So y'all, the BDE got her in BED, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's easy. Damn. She didn't confirm or deny it, but I guess I guess we confirmed. No, she it. said it was the best experience of her life. She already said it. Listen, it was great, beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. Let me tell you. Thank the, you to that man. This is key. BDE can have you sliding off your panties really quickly. Guys, if y'all don't get anything... Again, I said, think we've been saying this forever. Exactly. BDE will get you in BED way quicker than Listen, you being thirsty. Men, I'd say this all the time. We said on our last episode, if you have a thing for a woman or a man, just be normal. You don't have to do too much. Be yourself. Be confident. Make someone laugh. Have a good time. Be attentive and listen. And baby, the panties, the boxers will come off. They the will boxers for the guys. Okay. They will, they will slide off. It's really easy. I, I try to tell my guy friends this. It's really it hard. really is. That's the point that they're not getting. Yes, I've seen this thing on TikTok where the guy was like, girls, how y'all going to try to talk about us when y'all think and talk about sex just as much as we do? We do. We, do. Like, we probably sick. think about it more than they do. But I will say that we're not going to show it. We're not going to show our cards. We need you to work for it. That part, mm-hmm. at least a little bit. And like, we're not like perverted. Like, yes, men and women think about it at the same time, but men, some men just do too much. Like women, yeah, we, a lot of women have sex toys. A lot of women watch porn. A lot of women are into erotica. A lot of women are into sex, but see women, we carry ourselves differently. Whether mm-hmm. we're cis, whether we're gay, whether we're trans women, we're just built differently. We don't put our shit out there like a lot of men. It's like, you don't have to be thirsty. All you work need for, is- Work for it. Like Jill Scott says, my, one of my favorite quotes from Jill Scott, okay? She said this on The Breakfast Club. If you can tell me what to do, then you can tell me what to do. But if you can't tell me what to do, then you can't tell me what to do. And it's really, that's like the BDE definition to me. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. It's just easy. It's simple. Right. I went out. So I went out and um, I went out this past Sunday, which by this episode, it'll be like, I went out a few weeks ago. Okay. <laughs> so I went out a few weeks ago and um, there was, you know, I've been with this open-minded thing. Like I'm gonna go out, I'm open. I'm just enjoying myself. And the guy that I thought was cute, I had mentioned it. We, you know, got eye to eye. He kind of pointed out, I told him to come over. He came over. We started talking. We talked for like an hour and it was such a deep conversation. He was just like, yo, we're in the middle of this lounge, like talking about the deepest shit ever. And I was like, we are. And so we just kept talking. And then finally he was like, yo, I got to go check in on my table. Cause they had a table. Him and a couple of his other friends had an actual table. So he was like, I, I'm, I'm going to go in here and check on myself. He's like, you want something to drink? We got everything. I was like, oh, shit. And I was like, fun. yeah, sure. Even though I really didn't want nothing to drink. That was open invitation. I said, yes. And so he was like, this is what he did, y'all. He said, oh, you, you want to come and get it? Or he was like, you want me to bring it to you? He was like, no, I'm going to bring it to you. And I was like, yeah. that part. You better have a conversation, sir, and work out the problem yourself. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. He was like, no, you sit right there. I'm going to bring it to you. And I said, I'm going to see you. That's what I'm talking. That's the energy. That's the confidence. Mm-hmm. That, that's yes. so sexy to me on a man or on a woman when you just know, like, it's hot. And it's funny, too, because he was really tall. He was like six foot. And so, I mean, he was like six foot six. Sorry. He was oh. six foot six. And so, you know, he was like really tall and I thought he was Armenian, but he ended up being, cause we talked about like his entire life, like he ended up being mixed, but also in the same thing, in the same, you know, we talked about books, we talked about everything and he never really had that vibe of like, I'm trying too hard, but let me still be a gentleman mm-hmm. and, or let me still be that gentle person, period. And I feel like that's what anybody is kind of like looking for when it comes to being like, oh, shit, you got BDE. I want to drop these balls quickly. Like, it's just so, um, it's a vibe. It was a vibe. I was feeling it. I was like, yes. Like, we don't even, we could just be friends. We don't even have to, you know what I'm saying? Um, But I feel like it was an opening to be like, yo, BDE is still out there. Everybody doesn't have it, but it's still out there. Amen. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of our questioning. Ooh. Ah. Okay, BDE. So when you are, do you feel like this is one question I do want to ask this on my own. Do you feel like you want to marry or be along partners with somebody who is who has BDE? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I think I think that the, we we touched about it on it the whole episode is just kind of like somebody with BDE means that like they are they're on this path they're on this walk to self fulfillment and when you're happy within self then everybody around you is gonna be happy so I want somebody who's working on themselves because I'm gonna be happy and then you're gonna be happy and then we gonna be happy together and now you're gonna be more open to exploring different stuff you're gonna be more open to you know trying different things you're gonna be more, more open to stuff opposed to somebody who doesn't have BDE and they're just closed minded like there was this one guy where he was like talking about you know, open relationships. I'm like, well, it don't, it don't matter to me. Just do, just do you. And whatever those people are doing, it's none of my business. Like, why are you concerned? And that's after that conversation, like, yeah, this dude's not, I can't. So you're saying that they can work into their BED and you're, you, you're like, that's cool. Cause I'm working on mine. Yeah, I think at the end of the day, we're all work in project, mm-hmm. rock progress. And some of us don't work at all. Meaning that we're not, you know, you're, you're just living life and you're not you you think your shit doesn't stink or you don't look in the mirror and i want somebody who is working just as hard as themselves as i'm working on myself and us together like we gonna we're gonna have fun on all types of levels whether it's friendship whether it's relationship whether it's situationship whether it's um you know whatever and because there's always going to be that communication opposed to somebody who's not working on themselves they have these set rules in their mind of how women should be or how men should be or how this should be and you don't and like i don't i don't want that i don't want you to tell me you know what if i had this fantasy of doing something and you're like now nah, we can't do that like i don't want to hear that present a solution like now we can't have sex at the zoo but we can have sex over here i 
cool. Like, give me a, give me a, give me a, give me a solution to the problem. I love solutions. So like, I'm definitely, yeah, that, that's what I'm definitely about. And I find men with BD, like that's, you know, they, they're presenting, they're presenting solutions. And I like, and I like that type of energy. Same. It's hot. I want to be with a guy who's just confident all the way around. You know what I'm saying? Who is not insecure and who just has a lot of confidence about them. And it's my biggest turn on. And I know I'm very, I'm confident. And I know I, in the past, people have said I'm intimidating. So I would never want a guy to be like, I don't want to date her. Cause she has like BD and she's like, she's too much. I want someone to be able to be like on that level and be just as confident. So yeah, I would definitely. And if he's not, <laughs> and if he's not that confident and he has a moment, he's also open to express like, yeah. you know, I'm going through a moment. Yeah, because everyone's not like, I've been confident my whole life, but I've been leaning into it recently. I had to like tap back into my confidence. So if he's not like confident all the time or, and he's open, like you said about it, and he communicates and he's like, you know, I'm working on myself. I would love, that's someone I still would entertain. You know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely wouldn't mind it. Right. I definitely believe that I'm going to end up with somebody who has BDE. They probably might have BDE bigger than me, but they definitely have to have when, with their BDE, I feel like um, communication is with that. So they have to be able to communicate well um, as well because that sits through all the trust issues. But um, because I believe I have BDE, I'll definitely marry and be with somebody who has probably bigger BDE than me. <laughs> um, and... Though I like to, you know, and somebody who is just, you know, also supportive. And usually when you have somebody who's confident in themselves, they are supportive. But also somebody who is, like you said, I don't know if you said a TK or Kiki, but somebody who's just open. Like you have to be open to new adventures too. You have to be like, because, you know, sometimes BD can get kind of cocky and it'll be like, oh, I don't want to do that. No, well, today you're going to try because I said so. And listen, there's probably other things that I've tried. So I definitely feel like it needs to be somebody who is also very open as well to have certain conversations, to talk about things, and then also do different things as well. Even if they're like, I did that, I don't like it. Okay, cool. But um, yeah, so this wraps up our BDE episode. Let us know your BDE, your big dick energy experiences, queens and queen of family. Um, make sure you, well, going out, queens, let them know where they can find you. Yes, if you have BDE or just BD, I'm stupid. That makes it sound right. If you have BDE and the equipment that matches with it, feel free to sign in my DMs at Kiki Boom Boom. Oh my God. I just saw that BD because it sounds like BV. So Ew. Yeah. that's why I saw it. Yeah. Well, then. Um, <laughs> my name is TK Trinidad. Uh, I too, if you have BDE, I am ex- I'm currently accepting applications. So if you want to apply, please, uh, you can hit me up on IG or you can email me. Oh, just Google me. You'll find me. Um, but yeah, only right. if you have that. So, you know, just, I am currently taking applications, but it, it probably will close by August. So hop on in while, <laughs> while, while it's open. By August. Okay, then. Huffing season. Oh, well, cuffing season happened during the pandemic. And I feel like people are still together lately. And I'm like, oh, okay, we got new expectations. Got it. <laughs> um, but yes, if you have BDE, you can always hit me up. Or if you're just a cool person, we can always be friends. So um, my, you know, I'm open at this moment. <laughs> um, but you can catch me at It's Money Clubless. Also, make sure you look at my um, website, moneygloveless.com, as you will be getting some growth mindset tips, tricks, and some other things coming, which is super dope. Um, you know, really helping people get into their BDE energy is what I'm doing since, you know, I'm pretty confident that I'm, you know, BDE energy and still in progress person. But <clears throat> uh, make sure you check that out because I'm giving off some really good things really good advice. I'll have some more stuff coming that you guys can like really tap into. So make sure you check it out ASAP. Um, And also make sure you check out our website, Black Queens Uncut. 
Facebook.com to find us everywhere on Apple, Spotify, Anchor, also YouTube. And you can check us out on all of our social media platforms at Queens Uncut. Also, our YouTube channel is Black Queens Uncut. And we dropped a new episode every Wednesday. So make sure you look out, put in your notifications, look out for our next episode next Wednesday and catch up on our other episodes for season one, two, and the beginning of season three. Um, if you haven't caught up already. Um, so yes, thank you, Queendom family, for listening, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.